it's very normal as a human you know to have personal issues health issues maternity paternity issues right commitments and so on so somewhere as a professional you know we need long breaks right to resolve them now due to these long breaks what happens is that we do have certain impact on our job hunting we do have certain impact on your career as well right so in this video we'll try to discuss that due to long breaks what kind of issues happen during the job hunting what kind of issues happen uh, you know in our career and how we can better handle them now when you talk with an IT company or a HR person of an IT company or when you're discussing with a senior out there and and they are reviewing your resume right and when they see a long gap gap so what they do is that in order to glorify their company culture in order to magnify their company culture very diplomatically they will say that gaps do not matter to us technical is what matters we care about employees blah 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 family flows blah 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 and so on you know but what you will see that hesitancy you will see that lack of trust you know while they are screening a resume or while they are interviewing a person who is having a long gap you will see that kind of hesitancy so put down in the comments below that if you have if you are getting such kind of diplomatic answers if you are getting such kind of political answers please do put down in the comments now one important thing before we proceed gaps or not no gaps please be prepared for interviews nobody knows today you have a job and tomorrow you will not have a job right always be prepared so down below you know we have all our interview questions we also have a online course going on at this moment of mvc of angular of azure and so on please attend those courses right we also have individual courses as well so you can go down on the shopify you can buy from shopify you can buy from udemy you can buy from questpond you can buy from the various sources which are put down below okay coming back to the topic again <clears throat> so when i see a resume out there and which has a gap if the gap is small frankly it, it does not matter for example if the gap is of 2 months or 3 months um, i think i won't worry too much but if the gap is above 6 months and specifically it is like crossing a year or something what rings my bell is that is this person medically fit to come and work again back in the organization that goes in the mind of the interviewer saying that okay you have a gap right you must be you will produce a medical certificate also i would suggest everyone that if you having a genuine break out there uh, which is having some medical issues please produce a medical certificate also produce a medical certificate that you are fit so that you can remove this thought from his mind that you are okay and okay to perform the duties right but the first thought which goes into the interviewer's mind is that if i take this person and what if he again goes on a break right so i am working on an important project and suddenly this person says that i want to take a break right so that is the first thing which haunts the interviewer when he sees a long gap now there are other category of interviewers or there are uh, other school of thought of interviewers you know what they think is that when they see a long gap right they start doubting the capability of the candidate let me know down down in the comment below that has it happened with you the capability means they will say okay like one year of gap what was he doing for one year kya kar raha tha wo why didn't he get a job in that one year right so basically they start doubting the candidate itself now here i would suggest that as a candidate you should be thoroughly be prepared you should be well prepared right you should make sure that you make a point to showcase your technical skills it is very important right and as a interviewer also right don't make assumptions try to probe the candidate try to retrospect the candidate because it is very much possible that you can lose a good candidate right so here it is a two way process but as a candidate now you have to make you know four or five times more efforts to prove that you are technically sound now coming to the most common gap maternity and paternity leaves okay i i don't want to be gender biased over here specifically if males take paternity leaves right i don't know why they are questioned like if a male is taking a leave you know for 6 7 months it sometimes can be very genuine you know must be there is no one at the house working right so he has to look not only after his wife also he has to look after the baby right so he has to be full time at the home you know that is i don't know why in this society it is question saying that oh like you are a male and you took a paternity leave of 8 months 9 months why like so uh, so somewhere you know over there you know really uh, the males have to adjust said and done even the females are not left out if a female is taking a maternity leave of a year which is very very genuine right over there also the same question okay 
so she has become a mother mm that means now she will be looking after babies mm that means it's possible that after some years she will have a second baby mm so how productive she is now for our organization so this is again the second kind of thought process which goes in his mind so here guys somewhere as a candidate show off your technical skills you have to convince them it is very difficult i know and let me know in the comments below that how do you convince in these kind of situations when you have such long gaps right somewhere you know both as a male and a female right you have to convince them saying that this leave was genuine because see over here even the medical certificates don't matter for example if somebody has taken a paternity leave and if he has given a medical certificate also okay medical certificate is of the of the of the wife right at the end of the day but what were you doing at the home that question still does not go from his mind right a typical society mindset even you know also if if a female is showing up a Uh, a certificate right uh, of uh, you know of a medical certificate out there again how can you remove from his mind that uh, with the kid you can also look after the office or not right so somewhere you have to convince and second this is you know for the whole it community especially for the people who are interviewing right we have to little bit have some human in our heart when we are interviewing specifically people uh, you know with maternity and paternity leaves guys do have a heart technically judge them but don't try to judge on their situation one of the biggest issues with this gap is that salary negotiation because now they know that you are off guards and uh, you don't have a job on hand and also you have these gaps out there so somewhere you know you have to bend down on salary and so on but here is my take guys at the end of the day if you are technically convincing them if you are matching the fit to them right no one can stop you no gaps can stop you no hr can question you they can tell ya yeah, no negotiate and so on but like let us say you go for the interview you are knowing angular you are knowing react you are knowing azure you are knowing devops uh, you are knowing mvc properly you are knowing design patterns right and all that if you are not knowing is please prepare it is down below if you are going well prepared right if you are if you are if you are if you are very confident with your answers if you can speak about your project that's why we say prepare for the interviews right then i think this all don't matter because you know why in today's day right getting a good candidate has really become a challenge see getting a candidate it companies are getting but good candidate is a problem so at the end of the day what stays with you is that to technically convince them now let me talk about the black truth about gaps and i'm sure that all developers do this right it is said right if you if you are 100% truthful before the world the world does not leave you if you are going to 100% lie it's not going to work out right so if you can go and cover up these gaps mat dekho mere aankhon mein i'm not talking about the illegal ways and the illegitimate ways of covering up the gaps but if you can go and cover the gaps saying that okay i'm doing some freelancing job out there or you have done some freelancing project or some pet projects i would always suggest that even if you are having this uh, whatever personal issues right if you can sit in every evening and do some coding and upload on github right and show that you know i was doing this project it would really really help out right so if you can cover up those gaps i think that is a perfect way of avoiding the gap issues right please write down in the comment below whatever way you have covered the gaps black or white right please write down so that community is benefited right so at the end of the day try to avoid gaps and if you have a gap right and if you want to be like truthful also then be technically very strong okay so that brings us to the end of this session out here and in this uh, whole video i was trying to just summarize whatever i've seen out in the industry that how do developers actually manage the gaps please put down in the comment below black or white how did you manage your gaps please put down over there okay but i want to just go and end this session finally by saying one very important thing gaps or no gaps male or female right uh, and whatever right at the end of the day if you are technically sound nobody can stop you as i've said that currently the it industry needs good people so it's not that they don't want to hire there are still lot of positions out there which are vacant but they need that they need good developers that's definitely there right so if you are good in asp.net if you can talk about good about c sharp if you know if you are hands on on azure if you understand devops if you know sql server uh if you know if you know to talk about design patterns if you know how to express your project if you can talk about docker kubernetes microservices all that right why will you not get a job and now you will say sir how to prepare all this so much you are saying right you know my project is not even doing 5% of it 
it is prepared by doing trainings it is prepared by doing self learning right so go down in the in the comments below on the on the links below we have our shopify from where you can buy our products we have our quest pond where we are having trainings you can also buy from udemy you can also buy from the youtube subscription the membership subscription we have put all our courses in these various places out there right so you can try this you know which i try on myself every week for one or two hours try to learn look at our trainings if you look at the quest pond trainings we don't take trainings from monday to friday right we take training only on saturday and sunday that also one hour right but even if you do that two hours of training so saturday one hour and sunday one hour currently our mvc training is going on if you just do that also slowly you will find that within 365 days you are technically very strong right so at the end of the day i would suggest to everyone practice uh, learn something new every day learn something new every week try to be hands on try to practice right try to do small small projects out there and the rest of the things will be taken care so happy learning happy job hunting thank you very much mm -hmm.